Native VS. Flutter, which one should you choose? Well, in this video, we're going to cover the main differences between React Native and Flutter, and at the end, you can decide which one is best for you. First of all, let's talk about the programming language. With React Native, you're going to be using JavaScript. That means that the code that you write is very similar to the code that you would write for a regular React application. If you're already familiar with React, then React Native is going to be very easy to pick up. With Flutter, on the other hand, it's a little bit different. It has its own learning curve because it uses the Dart programming language. Now, Dart is an object-oriented programming language, and it's very similar to languages like Java and C Sharp. So if you're familiar with those languages, then it's going to be very easy for you to pick up Flutter. But if you're not familiar with object-oriented programming, then there is a bit of a learning curve. Another big difference between these two is the way that they handle their UI. With React Native, it uses a bunch of pre-existing native components. What that means is that the UI looks very similar to the UI that you would build with that native platform. So for example, if you're building an iOS app with React Native, then the UI is going to look very similar to an actual iOS application. The same thing goes for Android. With Flutter, on the other hand, it doesn't use any native components. Instead, it has its own set of customizable components that you can use to build your UI. Now, this has its pros and cons. The con is that you have to learn a whole new set of components, so it's a little bit more difficult initially to build your UI. However, once you learn how to use them, it's much easier to customize them and make them look however you want them to look. Also, since you're not relying on any native components, your app is going to look the same on both iOS and Android. Now, another big difference between these two is the way that they handle their state management. With React Native, it uses the Context API or Redux, and with Flutter, it uses something called Provider. Now, Provider is very similar to Redux in the way that it handles asynchronous operations. Finally, let's talk about the performance of these two. With React Native, the performance is actually really good. Since it's using native components, it's able to take advantage of the native APIs of that platform. So the performance is very similar to the performance of a native application. With Flutter, on the other hand, the performance is actually even better. Because it's using its own custom engine, it's able to render at 60 frames per second no matter what. And that means that the user experience is going to be very smooth. So which one should you choose? Well, if you're looking for the easiest one to learn, then it's probably going to be React Native. It's much easier to learn than Flutter especially if you already know React. However, if you're looking for the most customizable and the highest performing, then it's probably going to be Flutter. Now, no matter which one you choose, you're going to be able to build beautiful, high-performing applications. It really comes down to which one you prefer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know in the comments down below which one you're going to choose. Also, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.